day four and we've got quite a bit more progress on Nigel's ute today. We got stuck in this morning to the loom. Uh, yesterday we finished off the chassis wiring and the smart wire which we talked about. At the start of today I pinned out the Autosport connector for the firewall so that's where the loom comes through the firewall and connects up to the engine. A uh, great thing about this is you can take the whole engine out and it's just a quarter twist connector on the firewall and the whole loom comes out with the engine. Makes it heaps easier to work on the car, it saves you having to disconnect every connector, injector, coil plug on the engine every time you want to work on it, so that's really handy. It's quite a bit of work in pinning out one of these Autosport connectors. Uh, the one we're using is a 61 terminal connector, so that's a lot of pins to wire up. Uh, connected up all of the power and earth supplies to the different sensors on the engine, and once we had that all done and the connector was completely pinned out, uh, Concentric twisted the first section of the loom, and we got that all wrapped in Raychem DR25 sheath. Uh, put on the Raychem heat shrink boot on the connector, so that's all completely finished and 100% weather tight. So tomorrow we'll continue with that. I'm hoping by the end of tomorrow we'll have the engine bay loom 100% complete. That'll just leave us the short loom from the ECU up to the firewall and we'll be good to power it up and test everything. So hopefully by the end of Sunday we should have the whole thing running. All right, welcome to day four. Um, today was basically just a normal day for me. Um, got up at seven, or got up at six, went to work at seven. Um, got home at 4.30, just regular. Um, yeah, I work five days a week. Um, eight hours a day, and yeah, it basically pays for what's behind me. Um, it, yeah, it's, um, it's been a fairly busy day, but yeah, it's just basically normal. Um, I got home from work and started thinking about the air filter that I've put off for so long. I really didn't want to have to deal with it. I was hoping Andre had come up with something, but he pretty much fails in that area, so. Um, I built everything to basically be where it needs to be, and an air filter, I thought, ah, clean air, who needs it? but turns out you probably actually need it. So um, yeah, everything I built, I sort of ended up building myself into like this little, little, little corner that I actually can't fit an air filter through. So uh, I had to get creative and thought, yeah, maybe one of those over the radiator Commodore filters would work sticking under the radiator. So I tried to get a little bit um, crazy with the, the sheet metal, um, a lot of cutting on the angle grinder, a lot of welding. Um, I think I came up with something that might work, but I'm not real happy with it. And it's probably something I'll do later on, but it'll give us results for the dyno. And I think that's all that matters. Andre did a really nice job on the loom and it's looking like the weekend should see this thing running, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so stay tuned and exciting things to come.